Hello and welcome to the Lucian video tutorial series. In this video, we'll go over advanced cabinets. We'll specifically talk about what they are, how to set one up, and what makes them so powerful and so different than regular cabinets. Now the cabinet I have open here is an advanced cabinet. On its face, it looks like a regular file center cabinet, but there's something special going on behind the scenes. I set up this cabinet to give myself quick access to a few of the key locations in Windows. For example, I've got my downloads folder. I can get to my documents. I've got my desktop. I can even get down into some of my program files. Now, if you're observant, what you're going to notice is that these drawers are actually culled in from various locations inside of Windows. In other words, this has stepped outside of what we understand a cabinet to be. To review briefly, we expect a cabinet to be a single folder and all of the folders contained inside of that. That's a regular file center cabinet. That's what we've seen in all of the cabinet tutorials up to this point. But an advanced cabinet is an entirely different beast. In an advanced cabinet, drawers can come in from any location anywhere on your machine and they don't necessarily have to have any relation to each other. And that brings us to the key difference between a standard cabinet and an advanced cabinet. In a standard cabinet, the cabinet itself is given a location and all of the cabinet's contents are derived from that location. Whereas in an advanced cabinet, every single drawer can have its own distinct location. To show you what we mean by that, let's add a drawer to this cabinet right now. I like to go into my Windows temp folder from time to time and clean everything out of it. So let's create a drawer that goes to my temp folder. We do this in the usual way. We come over to drawers and we say new drawer. Now here's where things get different. I give the drawer a name like we'd expect, but I've got this additional setting, a drawer location. And I can browse out to any location on my computer, any drive available to me. I happen to know the location, so I'm just going to enter it right here and say OK. And there we go. All of a sudden, I have a drawer that points to my temp folder. Now, because each drawer has its own location, we've provided a special tool to make it easy to manage all of your drawers. If you go up to the Drawers Action button, you'll notice we have an option here, Manage Drawers. Selecting that will bring up a drawer manager, which is only available for advanced cabinets. Here you see a list of all of your drawers and the locations assigned to each one of these drawers. And here you can appreciate that these drawers have been gleaned in from various locations on my C drive. Here you can add more drawers, you can make changes to your drawers, you can purge your list of drawers, which by the way doesn't delete the folder, it just takes the drawer out of File Center. It's a good place to come and manage these advanced cabinets. Let's switch gears now and show you a very practical use for advanced cabinets through a feature that we call pinning. In a nutshell, it's possible to use an advanced cabinet almost like a bulletin board where you can pin drawers from your regular cabinets. What we're going to do is we're going to create a cabinet called Today's Appointments and we'll use this cabinet as a place where we can pin drawers for our customers or clients who have appointments with us today. Let's go ahead and create the cabinet so you can see what we're talking about. We add an advanced cabinet just like a regular cabinet. Let's come up here and just quickly say add cabinet. We're going to call this today's appointments. Now the important setting, we're not creating a standard cabinet, we change this to advanced cabinet. Now the cabinet still has to have a location even though nothing's actually going to go in it. We'll just say use default location. Other than that, we'll accept all the rest of the defaults and say OK. OK, we now have our cabinet, but it's blank. What we need to do now is start adding some drawers into the cabinet. But we're going to do this in a special way. We're going to do it by pinning drawers from our other cabinets. Watch how this works. I'm going to switch back to my client's cabinet. And let's select this drawer right here. If I come up to my Drawers button, I've got an option, Pin To. What this does is it lets me pin this drawer onto an advanced cabinet. 
and it shows my various advanced cabinets that are available right here. I'm going to select today's appointments, confirm, and while it looks like nothing's happened, let's switch over to today's appointments. And there it is, the Sylvia Allen drawer. You'll notice from the drawer location down here that the drawer itself hasn't moved. It continues to reside in the client's cabinet, but I'm displaying it as a link inside of this advanced cabinet. Let's switch back over and add a few more drawers. Now, I'm going to use this option right here called Advanced Pinning. This is a quick and easy way to pin multiple drawers onto my cabinet. First of all, I'm going to pin to an existing cabinet, my appointments cabinet. And they are coming from this cabinet. Now all I need to do is go through and select whatever drawers I want to pin over into the other cabinet. Let's just grab a few of these. And when I'm ready, I click OK. And now we've switched back over. We're in our Today's Appointments cabinet. And notice I now have four drawers pinned into this cabinet. From a practical point of view, a cabinet like this lets me focus on just the clients or customers or patients that I need to deal with today. It's a very nice condensed view of a cabinet. So once I'm done working with the drawer in this cabinet, how do I remove it from the cabinet? Uh, that's very easy. I mean, it's just like we saw before. We do have the Manage Drawers option. We can also remove a drawer, which is going to remove the selected drawer. And again, that doesn't delete the drawer. It simply removes it from this cabinet. If we go back over to our regular client's cabinet, you'll notice the Sylvia Allen drawer is still here. We didn't delete the data. We just took it out of this advanced cabinet. We can also remove all of the drawers at once. We come back here to our Manage Drawers option, where we can see all of the drawers in our cabinet. We can see that all of these came from that client's cabinet. And by the way, we could add drawers into this cabinet from any number of different cabinets. It doesn't matter because this is an advanced cabinet and drawers can come from anywhere. Once we want to clear this cabinet out, we can click Remove All. And all drawers are purged out of the cabinet without deleting the original data. So in summary, advanced cabinets are a very, very powerful tool which gives you new ways to organize and be efficient in the way you work with your files.